I was actually born, as it turns out, just a few blocks from SC. So, of course, I was drawn to the university. Military brat, father was in the Air Force, bounced all around. I wanted to grow up to be just like my dad. And so being able to, to learn more about the Air Force at Southern Cal really let me know in my heart that I had that propensity to serve. I had an ROTC scholarship uh, for engineering. And, and that's how I became involved in engineering. For a woman to graduate from particularly a discipline like electrical engineering, particularly an African-American woman, it was not very common. After about the first year, my ROTC instructor said, have you ever thought about flying airplanes? So now I was going to get an engineering degree and then go on active duty as a pilot. Before I went to pilot training, I met someone who said, hey Stacy, you should go to a Tuskegee Airmen convention before you go to pilot training. And I was like, you can actually meet them? This is amazing. And so when I did, that's when you really realize this is much greater than myself. They worked hard to pave the way for someone who looks like me. From that moment on, I was dedicating my career to the Tuskegee Airmen. I think that's what drives her, her history as well as the future. She's standing on the shoulders of individuals who've come before her. She knows there's many more barriers to be broken. I was on active duty for eight years and then in the Air Force Reserve for 26. I got a phone call from the then current Chief of Staff of the Air Force for me to come back on active duty be promoted for a third star and assume another role. And I was just like, wow. Even though you didn't know this opportunity was gonna come about, you have been preparing all your career for a role like this. We're extremely proud of Stacy, the highest ranking African-American woman in the Air Force. She is, is not only the first, but the, the way she carries herself, the way she represents being the first. This person, this you know, Lieutenant General, this commercial airline pilot, this is what every young lady should aspire to be. Every day I wake up in the morning and I see myself and I know who I am and I know what my mission is and that's what I charge forward to do. The fact that I'm the first presents an opportunity for me and for me to bring up others through mentoring to be able to achieve the same goals. What General Harris is able to do better than any other senior leader I've seen in the Air Force is put people together and help to forge the friendships that will allow their careers to go on. You want everyone to be successful and so that has always been my goal. The core of her is not uh, forgetting where she came from. She always wanted to bring those people and honor those people that supported her and got her to where she was. The Tuskegee Airmen, I've seen her next to them, proud, they pinned her. When my father passed, they said, that's okay, baby, we're your daddies now, you know? And, and they have been. And for my three-star pinning, I still remember, you know, I'm crouching down a little bit because they're just a little bit smaller than I am, you know, to have a wasp on one side and a Tuskegee Airman on the other pin my third stars, and it was my tribute to their legacy for paving the way.